Milky Way black hole photograph. Einstein's theory was valid. We're pretty sure you never knew that there's a massive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. In fact, every galaxy has one just like that. It's interesting, isn't it? Knowing that something so terrifying is responsible for holding our galaxy together is simply mind-blowing. Scientists had hypothesized it years before, chief among them being Einstein. But it wasn't until 2019 that we noticed the aforementioned black hole. Suffice it to say, the answers we seek have been long overdue. But can these same answers help us understand how our galaxy actually works, or will we still be in the dark? In the 1980s, two teams of astronomers began tracking the motions of stars close to a very mysterious source of radio waves. They found stars whirling around a dark object at one-third of the speed of light. These motions were evaluated to be a black hole, four million times the mass of the Sun at the center of the Milky Way. Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Gates would go on to share the Nobel Prize in physics for this discovery. Finding such a big clue about a black hole is a huge deal nowadays. So imagine what it would have been like 40 years back. By the way, the black hole in our galaxy is named Sagittarius because it is closer to that cluster of stars. The size of a black hole is defined by its event horizon. That's the distance from the center of the black hole from which nothing can escape. Scientists had previously been able to calculate that Sagittarius A is 6 million miles, 26 million kilometers in diameter. So the Milky Way's black hole is huge compared to the black holes left behind after massive stars die. This also led astronomers to believe that there are supermassive black holes at the centers of nearly all galaxies. This is a hypothesis that's turning out to be valid more often than not. But compared to most supermassive black holes you'll find out there, Sagittarius A is pretty regular. On May 12, 2022, astronomers on the Event Horizon Telescope team released an image of a black hole. It was supposed to depict Sagittarius A as it lay at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. For decades, astronomers had been measuring radio waves from an extremely compact source closer to the aforesaid constellation, and this time they found proof of what it exactly is. If you didn't already know, black holes themselves are absolutely dark, and literally nothing, not even light, can escape their gravity. However, black holes are surrounded by clouds of gas, and astronomers can measure this gas to produce images of the black holes. Within the central dark region in the image is a shadow cast by the black hole onto the gas cloud, and the bright ring is the gas itself glowing. The bright spots in the ring show areas of hotter gas that may one day fall into the black hole. This is why you'll see this image to be rather similar to the one taken of Messier 87, which was revealed in 2019. But don't get them mixed up, though, because they're two completely different black holes, which are extremely distant from each other. Some of the gas visible in the image is actually behind Sagittarius A. Light from that gas is being bent by the incredible amount of gravity the black hole exerts toward Earth. This effect is called gravitational lensing and is a core prediction of the general relativity theory. Obviously, Einstein's work have acted as the main reference for understanding these cosmic giants. On the flip side, it's innately important for us to understand that supermassive black holes are extremely hard to measure. They don't just pop up on a random night sky. Firstly, they're incredibly far away and surrounded by the gas and dust that clogs the center of galaxies. Also, while we might think its properties are determined by its supermassive size, black holes are relatively small compared to the vastness of space. Sagittarius A is located in the center of the Milky Way, 26,000 light years away. So only 1 in 10 billion photons of visible light can reach Earth, and ultimately, most of them are absorbed by the gas around them. However, Radio waves pass through gas much more easily than visible light, so astronomers measured the radio emissions from the gas surrounding the black hole. The orange colors you see in the image are representations of these radio waves. The team used eight radio telescopes spread across the globe to collect data on the black hole for five nights in 2017, and that wasn't at all an easy task for them. Again, black holes are hard to identify. Even then, it took them five years to come up with an image for the rest of the world to see. Every night, so much data was generated that the team couldn't just send it through the internet. They had to ship 
physical hard drives to a separate location where they process the data. Since black holes are so hard to look at, you'd expect that there's a lot of uncertainty in the data. The telescopes used on the project to collect data have enabled the scientists to create an almost accurate image. Mind you, this wasn't just a project in Photoshop. The team used supercomputers that could process a lot of data in a short time to produce millions of different images. And each of those was a mathematically viable version of the black hole based on the data collected in line with the laws of physics. Then they combined all of these images together to produce a final, near-accurate image. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope team also released the first image of yet another black hole. This one was named Mercier and is at the center of the galaxy M87, or Messier 87. This discovery was revolutionary at the time, and it meant that scientists had finally proven Einstein's theory. And the images represent another extension of that proof. The black hole at the center of the galaxy Mercier 87 is an enormous 2,000 times larger than Sagittarius A and 7 billion times the mass of the Sun. The Event Horizon Telescope was able to observe both black holes at equivalent resolutions because Sagittarius A is 2,000 times closer to Earth than M87. And this gave astronomers a chance to learn about the universe by comparing the two. As alluded to, the similarity between the two black hole images is almost uncanny. For instance, we now know that small stars and small galaxies look and behave very differently from large stars or galaxies. And black holes are the only objects in existence that answer to only one law of nature, and that is gravity. At the same time, gravity doesn't really care about scale especially where black holes are concerned. For decades, astronomers have hypothesized that there are massive black holes at the center of almost every galaxy. While the M87 is an unusually massive black hole, Sagittarius A is more likely to be like the other galaxy-centered black holes out there. Also, there's a whole lot more that scientists can deduce from the data already collected for the sake of science. One interesting stream of thought could be the fact that the gas surrounding Sagittarius A is moving at close to the speed of light. We've mentioned before that Sagittarius A is relatively small and matter trickles into it pretty slowly. To put that into perspective, if the black hole were the size of a human, it would consume the mass of a single grain of rice every million years. And that's one extreme diet right there. So by taking many images, it would be possible to watch the flow of matter around and into the black hole in real time. This would allow astrophysicists to study how black holes consume matter and grow. Certainly, these new images of the black holes in question have held true to the saying that a picture is worth a thousand words, so much so that it has already generated ten scientific papers and counting. The first image of our galaxy's supermassive black hole has already begun to explain some of the greatest mysteries concerning the heart of the Milky Way. And this new information about black holes adds to many other lines of evidence, all of which are now converging to build the core structure of knowledge about our galaxy. Galaxy Center. So, taken together, the results suggest that Sagittarius A is dimmer compared to the central black holes of other galaxies. The observations also hint that Sagittarius A could have been spectacularly active a few million years ago. Meanwhile, the latest data is raising fresh questions about some of the other large structures seen in and around the Milky Way. Eventually, we'll be able to answer these questions with great accuracy, but for now, the data accumulated from these readily observable black holes has gotten a lot of scientists excited. So what questions do you think will be answered in the new data? And do you really think every single galaxy in the universe is fueled by a central supermassive black hole? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, it's bye from us.